Good afternoon, Laurel. Happy to bring you your weekly briefing. Mayor Craig Moe coming to you from the Laurel Municipal Center. The City of Laurel is up and running with the COVID-19 Laurel Community Assistant Fund. The fund will be managed by the City of Laurel Department of Budget and Personnel Services. Donations should be made payable to the City of Laurel with the wording Laurel Community Assistance Fund in the memo section of the check and mailed to the Laurel Municipal Center, 8103 Sandy Spring Road, Laurel, Maryland, 20707, Attention Department of Budget and Personnel Services. As stated to you last week, our target date is July the 1st to begin the process of returning our workforce to the Municipal Center. We will start off slow and bring back others gradually. The goal is to keep our employees and our residents safe. Our numbers for today in Prince George's County on the virus the confirmed cases of COVID-19 is 18,367. Cases for those that have passed away in the county, 638. Our hospitalizations are 2,940. And our ICU capacity is 41.8%. Let me also break down the numbers for the city along the surrounding zip code areas. The 20707, we have 648 confirmed cases. 20708, we have 569 cases. In 20724, there's 330 cases. And in 20723, 350 cases. COVID-19 drive through testing site is up and running at the Laurel Beltsville Senior Activity Center located at 7120 Conti Road in Laurel. The Prince George's County Health Department operates a site which offers free COVID-19 tests by appointment for in, appointments for individuals with or without symptoms. To schedule an appointment, please call 301-883-6627. The county site can accommodate those in vehicles or on foot, and you do not need health insurance to get tested. I recently had my test a couple weeks ago. It was painless. It's the right thing to do. And I got all my results, everything was negative. So we encourage you to get out there and get tested. It's so important that you continue to practice social distancing, have your face coverings that covers your nose and your mouth. These are proven ways that we're gonna stop the virus and stop the spread. Don't forget about the city's new campaign, RAP. Register, apply, and pay online. The new virtual platform will provide a more streamlined and efficient way to do business while protecting the health, safety, and welfare of our public and our employees. Go to the city's website to register today. I am pleased to announce that because of your work to help slow the spread of the coronavirus and your dedication to help bringing the numbers down in Prince George's County, the Laurel Municipal Center will reopen on July the 1st, 2020. Many city employees who have been teleworking during this pandemic will return to their offices, which have been sanitized using electrostatic process. Even ductwork has been sanitized, ensuring a healthy environment for the employees and visitors at the Laurel Municipal Center. When the Laurel Municipal Center doors open, the public for the first time since March, visitors will interact with the Municipal Center staff by way of a self-serving kiosk. The kiosk will be part of our new online program called RAP, Register, Apply, Pay. Meeting the needs of the public in a more efficient and safer way for things like permits, business licenses, zoning applications, or HDC certifications. And to register for park and recreation classes and programs too. And if you prefer, you can wrap from home. Big changes have also been made to our passport office. A new window and speakers have been installed and we're moving to an appointment only process. No more walk-in services will be allowed. Details on how to make a passport appointment will be announced on the city's website very soon. Please be aware that the US uh, State Department is just opening up their government buildings, and delivery time for new passports will be extended by weeks. If you are an adult, have a 10-year passport that needs to be renewed, 
nailed in yourself by using the DS82 application that can be found at the State Department's website, travel.state.gov, along with more information about how the State Department is handling the passport process during the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic has afforded us an opportunity to usher in new and improved process that will make the way we do business even better than before. We are excited to bring this new technology and service platform to the residents and business owners in the city of Laurel. So get ready to log in Laurel and RAP wrap with us. Watch for further announcement and details on the city's website, www.cityoflaurel.org. Thank you in advance for your cooperation during our reopening, and thank you for everything you all have done during this pandemic to keep Laurel safe. The City of Laurel Pools will operate under an appointment-only process. No outside daily admissions or memberships will be accepted, including pool memberships, until further notice. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic in the Executive Order 2020-18, the City of Laurel Department of Park and Recreation has begun implementing many procedural changes to provide programs and activities safely during these unprecedented times. New for this season, you must create an online account to register, and you must have a current email address to set up the account. If you do not already have an account in this system, go to cityoflaurel.org backslash parks backslash classes and registration and follow the instructions. Once you've established your account, you can make your appointments beginning June 22nd the Department of Park and Recreation is offering three one-hour and 45-minute sessions per day. Pool areas will be sanitized between each session. The Laurel Municipal Pool will allow 75 people per session. The Greenview uh, Drive Pool will allow 55 persons per session. Required by all attendees, you must wear a mask when you are not in the pool. You must practice social distancing you must bring your own chair. The pool concessions uh, stands will be open for business. It will be different, but it's needed while this pandemic continues. I ask all of you to have patience and bear with us uh, as we move through um, the opportunities of bringing government back to the people. The Department of Public Works is providing community dumpsters in neighborhoods around the city. Your association or community leaders needs to contact the Department of Public Works to get something set up for your neighborhood. If you're interested, please email the Department of Public Works at uh, dpw.laurel.md.us. Remember to take time to get counted in this year's census. It is so important that you get counted. Um, right now, I just checked before I came on, to give you my briefing, we're at 60.8% in self-response. We need more people to get out there, fill out their forms. If you don't have a computer, you can even come here to City Hall when we open up and uh, use our kiosk area to um, fill out the form. I was happy to sign the proclamation proclaiming June the 19th, 2020 as Juneteenth. This is the second year that I've signed a proclamation requested by our Council President Keith Sidnor. Just a little history here on June the 19th, 1865, word was finally received in the southern states of President Lincoln's signing of the Emancipation Proclamation, which occurred two and a half years prior. So this day became a monumental moment that combined the month of June and the date 19 to make the word Juneteenth which is the oldest nationally celebrated day, ending slavery in the United States. On Friday, June the 19th, uh, 2020, from 2.30 until 4, we closed some uh, roads for a peaceful Black Lives Matter march that started at the town center of Laurel in the parking lot across from the Panera Bread, and it ended at the Laurel Police Department parking lot. The city police department and public works crews were on hand to help with traffic and to keep everyone safe. We had no incidents, and there were a total of about 50 residents that took part 
in that peaceful Black Lives Matter march. Uh, keep your eyes open for some information on getting the community involved on July the 4th. We can't have the big gatherings and the fireworks due to the COVID-19 health emergency, but the committee is working hard to get you involved with some activities you can do at home and to show your spirit. And you will be able to watch some of the fireworks on Laurel TV from past years. So look for information within the next week of how you can be involved on July the 4th. I am told we still have several spots available for the July 7th Red Cross blood drive at the Laurel Municipal Center. So you need to go to the Red Cross website to schedule an appointment. And I encourage you to do it today. Blood is badly needed. I've gotten several complaints from residents about noise and damage to some cars due to the work being done um, on Route 198 by the state. This is a State of Maryland SHA project and their contract and not the city's. All concerns and issues should be directed to the State of Maryland SHA, State Highway Administration. We have also contacted SHA and provided them with our concerns raised by residents as well. This project should be completed by mid-July 2020 if weather permits. As I always like to remind you uh, before ending the weekly briefing, um, a couple of our telephone information hotlines we still have set up. We're still calling and we're still answering questions. The senior information hotline is 240-517-7974. The Spanish Information Hotline is 240-805-3167. And the Business Information Hotline is 301-356-3876. I did have the opportunity uh, this week to sign an executive order, 2020-19, which creates um, the City of Law Clergy Advisory Council. Um, So uh, look more for information on that as Uh, weeks ahead, and uh, we always want to have our clergy involved and uh, provide guidance to the Marion City Council and department heads and others um, 24-7. A few programs to remind you of, uh, Takeout uh, Tuesday. You know, it's always Takeout Tuesday now that we're able to put some people back into restaurants, low capacity, as well as out outside if they have patios and tables. Um, But again, show your support for our restaurants and our local businesses um, and to remember to always shop local. Don't forget about our health care gratitude challenge on our social media platforms and our chat with the senior citizens program. We'll be taking a look at all of these programs, see how much longer we're going to keep them up and running and we'll keep you posted as well. But I encourage you um, that if you have a senior or someone that you haven't spoken to, give them a call, see how they're doing, check on them, and they can also get involved with our program here at City Hall. I always encourage you to follow along on one of our many different social media platforms so you can stay informed and stay updated on issues. The next Merritt City Council meeting will be held on July the 13th at 6 p.m. The work session will be at 5.30. It will be virtual and on Laurel TV, and you'll be able to call in or uh, you can provide questions uh, by contacting the clerk to the city council, uh, Kimberly Rao. To residents of the Laurel area, again, I want to thank you for all that you all have done, your support, your understanding, and always stepping up to volunteer and help others. We must continue to work together to rid this virus because we're all in this together. Until next week's briefing, stay safe and thank you very much.